So when we close the editor, we want to preserve the current settings in the configuration file. So let's go to the design. I'll click the form itself, go to properties, and I want to go to the events. So we have an event when the form loads, but we also have an event when the form is closing. And that's right here, form closing. Not when it's closed already, but when it's closing. So right before it closes, we will save everything in our configuration file. So I'll create the event for that. So it's going to be FRM editor and form closing. So now we want to write into our text file. So I'm going to create an object of stream writer and I'll call it output file. And of course, it's going to be a new object of stream writer. And of course, the path is the same. We want to write into the same file. So we'll go to application.startup and then we will add to it the file name, which is going to be node.ini. So in the load event, we assign the values from the text file. Now we are going to be writing into the text file. And again, we'll do it line by line. So we'll go to our output file, that write line, and the first line that we are writing is the bold font. So that's going to be basically the true or false whether the configuration that we have open now has this checked or unchecked. So we'll go to MNU bold format, and the value that we want is the checked. So it's true or false. So if it is currently true, that's how it's going to be saved in the file. If it's false, then it will say false in the file. Then we'll have the output file, that right line. And this is going to be for the next one, which is going to be for the italics. And then we have the underline. So it's going to be output file, that right line, MNU, underline format. So these are the three booleans that we have in our configuration file. And now we save the value for our font size. So we'll do an if statement and check if the MNU format small size is checked. So if this one is checked, then we will output a line one. So it's going to be output file dot right line and we'll output one. Just the number one. Else if the MNU format but the medium is checked, then we will output two. So it's going to be output file dot right line, and we'll pass two as an integer. And finally, if neither of these is checked, because we have only three options, then we'll do output file dot right line, and we will output three for the large fund. And once this is done, we can close the file and exit the application. So output file dot close. So this is a basic configuration. Now let's see if it works. I'll start it and we get an error that the file could not be found. But how is that possible since we have it in our project, right? Well, let's close it. Let's go to Social Explorer and we have that node.ini in our project. We created it there. However, when we first run it, it doesn't look for the file over here. What it looks for is in our bin folder for the debug, where the exec file is. So I'll go here to show all files, go to bin and debug, and you can see it's not there. So I'm just going to copy that and place it in my debug folder. So now it will find it based on our paths here. We only created it as an initial file in our project, but of course it reads it from the debug folder. So let's run it again and now everything opens. And when we go to format, you can see neither is checked and size is set to small. So now let's check italics and underline and go to size and check medium. And I'm gonna close the application now and if I run it again I go to format and you can see we have the same configuration. These two are now checked 
and we have medium font check because that's how we had our configuration before we close the editor. So this is how we read configuration and how we save the configuration before we close the file. So I hope you found this exercise interesting. I think this was quite practical, even though it was a very simple example, but configuration files are of course widely used in all sorts of applications, whether it's something simple like this, like text editor, or something very complex like games, where you save your last configuration of the game before exiting the game, and then load it again when the game starts. So I hope you like this tutorial, I hope you found it interesting, and I will see you in the next video.